Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In this lesson, we are going to talk about endocrine disruptors. There are many compounds which are harmful for all living organisms, and they operate in different uh, ways, in different by different mechanisms. One such way is by disrupting the endocrine system. So let's see what are these compounds. They are chemicals which resist degradation partly due to lack of microorganisms with degradative abilities, or worse, due to microbial activities that change them to more toxic form. हम शुरू से डिस्कस कर रहे हैं कि वन ऑफ़ द मैनी एप्लीकेशंस ऑफ़ एनवायरनमेंट बायोटेक्नोलॉजी इज़ टू डिग्रेड टॉक्सिक कंपाउंड्स इन द एनवायरनमेंट। सो माइक्रोऑर्गेनिज्म्स मैनी माइक्रोऑर्गेनिज्म्स आर नॉन टू डिग्रेड मैनी टॉक्सिक कंपाउंड्स। हाउएवर दे आर चांसेस दैट व्हेन माइक्रोऑर्गेनिज्म इंटरेक्ट्स व so that is very dangerous. So uh, endocrine disruptors include, uh, especially include those uh, compounds, chemical compounds, which are resistant to degradation by bacteria, especially due to the fact that not many bacteria are known to degrade that compound, or due to the fact that in bacteria certain pathways exist that actually enhance the toxicity of those compounds. Exa there are so many examples. Uh, the major example is of estrogens, both synthetic and natural. Uh, when these are used and when these are uh, uh, spilled or these are uh, you know thrown out in the environment uh, by different means uh, they can uh, cause harm to flora and fauna downstream let's see how they do that now natural estrogens are deactivated in human beings by the process called glu glucuronidation which is conjugation of the hormone with udp glucuronate so uh, is conjugation say jo ye estrogen hai ye kind of deactivate ho jata hai, iski toxicity reduce ho jati hai aur iska jo mode of action hai, wo bhi reduce ho jata hai so this makes the compound polar and can be easily cleared and extracted from the body through the kidneys so as we know kidneys ke through hi sari excretion system hai aur bohut sari compounds body se release hoon se pehle unko modify kiya jata hai unki toxicity reduce ki jati hai aur phir body se wo release hoote hai same goes with estrogens However, many bacteria have the enzyme called beta glucuronidase, which removes this modification and therefore it activates the this hormone estrogen. Body से जब ये hormone release हो रहा है, excrete हो रहा है, तो ये deactivated form में जा रहा है. लेकिन बहुत environment में बहुत सारे bacteria ऐसे हैं जो कि इसका reverse process कर देते हैं. इससे वो ये remove कर देते हैं glucuronidase glucuronidase group को remove कर देते हैं, जिससे ये जो है hormone ये दोबारा activate हो जाएगा. So once this hormone is in activated form in the environment, it can affect the other life forms. Now, this process of glucuronidation it is also used to detoxify many other hormones, many other compounds as well, not just estrogens. So this is just given as an example. What will happen when the body has been deactivated from the body, has been excreted from the environment, and the environment has been microorganisms reactivated so basically the hormone has come in activity form in the environment now it can affect living organisms especially if it comes to drinking water source so the living organisms especially animals are consuming it they consume the hormone and as we know the hormone affects different body organs so the example given here is the feminization of male fish in many species including minnows, trout and flounders you can see here कि when synthetic or natural estrogen is activated in the environment and when it reaches the water bodies, many species of fish can be fish can be feminized. So yes, it is a very threatening situation, and we can only imagine if such compounds find their way to drinking water bodies, which are used by human beings. Now many other chemicals such as PAH, that is polyaromatic hydrocarbons. DDT, alkyl phenols, and some detergents may also mimic the activity of estrogens. We just discussed in uh, last sessions that there are so many compounds which are structurally similar, and therefore they mimic each other's uh, different abilities. Uh, same goes here. You can see there are so many compounds which can mimic the properties and activity of estrogen. So apart from estrogen, there are so many other compounds as well which are toxic for life in this fashion. Estrogen is heat labile and susceptible to UV exposure. The effects of which are augmented by titanium dioxide. Now, such uh, toxic chemical compounds, uh, which are very different from other toxic compounds, these can be uh, destroyed by so many.
processes as you can see here uh, by the use of uh, certain radiation etc and uh, there are also certain microorganisms which are present in the environment and which are still being discovered which can be used to perform such uh, beneficial processes uh, this was about endocrine disruptors